In this video, I'm going to talk about the glomerular disorders that fall under the nephritic and nephrotic syndromes. So the nephritic syndromes, the way I memorize it is that it has two eyes in there, so it's associated with inflammatory processes. And those that have the name focal, it means that less than 50% of the glomeruli are affected versus those that have the name diffuse means that most or all of glomeruli are affected. And then the clinical symptoms of these patients include hematuria and red blood cell casts. They present with proteinuria that is less than three and a half gram per day. So compared to nephrotic syndrome, which has more than three and a half gram per day, patients with nephritic syndrome have less than three and a half gram per day of proteinuria. They present with edema, hypertension, and renal insufficiency. Patients with nephrotic syndrome, on the other hand, due to the um, increased infiltration of macromolecules across the glomerular capillary wall, they uh, have large amount of proteins that will leak through, and thus there is more than three and a half gram loss of proteins per day. They also present with hypoalbuminemia, and the reason for that is that albumin gets lost in the urine, and so these patients have low levels of albumin, as a consequence of which the oncotic pressure decreases and thus fluids will leak into the interstitial space and it will cause edema. Now due to the decreased level of oncotic pressure, the um, liver will start to increase the production of lipoproteins as a consequence of which there would be an increased level of cholesterol as well as triglycerides. So these patients will also present with hyperlipidemia and fatty casts. In addition, these patients present with thrombotic diseases because of the loss of antithrombin as well as the plasminogen in the urine, and so there would be re recurrent thrombosis of the deep veins as well as the renal vessels. There is also increased risk of infection in these patients because immunoglobulins can get lost in the urine. So here I have a list of the nephrotic syndrome for you, so I will go in details through every one of them with you. So I would like you to know that focal segmental glomerulosclerosis is the most common form of nephrotic syndrome in adults. Membrous glomerulonephritis is the number two cause of nephrotic syndrome in adults. While minimum change disease is the number one cause of nephrotic syndrome in children. So for focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, as the name implies, it's a focal disorder. So less than 50% of the glomeruli are affected. And the memory aid that I have for it is called FGH. So F, G, H, and we can actually add I to it. So these are the alphabetic letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So F, G goes for focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. And then H goes for HIV and then I goes for IV drug users. So this disorder is commonly seen in HIV patients and those that are IV drug users. And then the histology shows the sclerosis and highly information of the glomeruli that affects less than 50%. So here I have provided you with an image. So here is an example of a focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. As you can see, the sclerosis here is affecting only less than 50% of the glomerulus. The next condition is the membranous glomerulonephritis. And so as the name implies, membranous means that the glomerular basement membrane has thickened. So anywhere you see the name membranous, it means that basement membrane has uh, been thickened. Anywhere you see proliferative, it means that there is an increased cellularity in those uh, disorders. 